Welcome to Kel Naturals. Today we will be talking about the 11 signs and symptoms of colon cancer. The colon also referred to as the large intestine or large bowel, is one of the organs in the digestive system. It is 6 feet long and is divided up into 4 different sections. Ascending colon. Transverse colon. Descending colon. Sigmoid colon. The colon plays an important part in the final stages of digestion. It removes any remaining food after the nutrients have been removed from it during the earlier stages of digestion. This process is known as peristalsis. Salts and liquids are removed from the leftover food waste as it makes its way through the colon. That waste is then eliminated as a bowel movement. Like any other organ in the body, the colon can be affected by cancer. If you are finding value in this content please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Colon cancer is very prevalent and understanding the signs and symptoms is vital because if left untreated, it will progress, and possibly spread. Around 1 in 20 Americans may develop colon cancer throughout their lifetimes, making it the third most frequent form of cancer in the country. The signs of this malignancy, however, can mimic those of other diseases. So this is why colon cancer is known as the silent killer. You must be aware of the warning signs. Prompt diagnosis is crucial for survival from colon cancer, but this requires awareness of early warning symptoms before the cancer has advanced. It is wise to perform some internet research on the symptoms of colon cancer before making an appointment with a doctor because of the high likelihood of a misdiagnosis. Here are 11 signs to look out for if you're concerned about the appearance of colon cancer, in no particular order. 11. Constipation. Constipation is a relatively normal condition. It is described as difficulty emptying the bowels, and that difficulty is usually accompanied by hardened stools. Additionally, stools become less frequent, a person can go several days or more without having a bowel movement. In most cases, though constipation is uncomfortable, it isn't a cause for concern. It can be a side effect of not drinking enough water, not eating enough fiber, stress, or taking certain medications or supplements. However, constipation can also be a sign of colon cancer. Tumors within the bowels can prevent the colon from emptying waste. As a result, that waste gets trapped in the lower portion of the digestive tract, hardens, and can become difficult to pass. Many patients who are diagnosed with colon cancer report that they have experienced constipation. If you're having difficulty passing bowels, speak to your doctor to find out the cause. 10. Diarrhea. Constipation isn't the only way that colon cancer can affect your bowels. This condition can also lead to diarrhea. Diarrhea is described as a having a frequent urge to empty the bowels, and when the bowels are passed, the stool is usually loose and watery. Abdominal cramping can also be associated with diarrhea. It is certainly an embarrassing situation, but one that everyone experiences from time to time. Often, diarrhea isn't a cause for concern. Bowel problems such as diarrhea, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, thin stools, constipation, and changes in stool consistency may signal the beginning of colon cancer. People who are later diagnosed with colon cancer often have a history of gastrointestinal complaints such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, colitis, constipation, or other symptoms related to bowel abnormalities. 9. Constantly tired and weak. Polyps, or tumors, along the colon are a common symptom of colon cancer. Anemia can result from bleeding into the intestines caused by cancerous tumors. Dizziness, weakness, weariness, exhaustion, and trouble breathing are common symptoms of blood loss. Constant chills, even when it's warm outdoors, a whitish complexion, unusually long naps, and a diminished desire to exercise are all symptoms that may signal the beginning of colon cancer. 8. Weight loss for no reason. Despite our culture's fixation on thinness, a smaller waistline is not a health goal when it comes to reducing the risk of colon cancer. Colon cancer is a possible cause of sudden weight loss, loss of appetite, or both in the absence of any other obvious medical cause. This is due to the fact that having colon cancer decreases your body's ability to purge harmful substances. The accumulation of waste in the body suppresses hunger on a biological level. People who are later diagnosed with colon cancer frequently report feelings of fullness, saying they aren't hungry for no apparent reason, similar to how a pregnant woman might feel. 7. Discomfort in the stomach. Gas and bloating are common issues that affect everyone. Signs of a more serious problem include the occurrence of gas, bloating, cramping, discomfort, pain, nausea, or indigestion on a regular basis or a pattern that has developed over time. People with colon cancer who have experienced stomach pain have compared it to having an ulcer. The importance of this cannot be overstated, as early stage colon cancer is frequently misdiagnosed as heartburn and treated with antacids. However, as cancerous polyps develop into tumors along the digestive tract, these growths can become obstructions that produce acid as undigested food accumulates. 
This is why getting a second opinion is important if you have persistent heartburn-like symptoms. 6. Abdomen pain. Women still in their childbearing years and going through regular menstrual cycles are especially vulnerable to experiencing pain in the abdominal region, but it can occur for a variety of reasons. If the pain persists after a reasonable amount of time, that's a good indication that it's not going away on its own. A cancerous polyp or intestinal tear could be the root of this discomfort. The cancerous growth of another nearby organ is another possible cause. If the pain persists, it's important to rule out other potential causes like parasites and premenstrual syndrome PMS. 5. Blood in stool. Most people will experience hemorrhoid-related blood in their feces at some point in their lives. Hemorrhoids, on the other hand, are caused by applying a little too much pressure to the delicate blood vessels in the anal region, while colon cancer bleeding originates from a different place. Blood in the feces that is still a vivid red color after passing through the digestive system suggests that it is coming from the posterior end of the rectal area. A sign of internal bleeding in the bowel, colon, or digestive tract is a marked darkening of the feces or blood, or a change in color to black. It is crucial to continue testing until an accurate diagnosis is confirmed, whether the underlying cause is a stomach ulcer, colon cancer, or something else. 4. Throwing up. Most people will throw up at least once in their lives, and the experience can be unpleasant. When solids, liquids, waste, trapped gas, and bile back up in the colon due to a blockage, it can cause nausea and vomiting, which is a possible symptom of colon cancer. 3. Jaundice skin. Liver metastases from colon cancer often manifest first because of how blood flows through the body. In the event that cancer spreads to the liver, it may eventually obstruct the bile ducts, resulting in bile being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. The bile is responsible for the yellowing of the skin and, in many cases, the whites of the eyes. This bile can also make the urine appear darker yellow. Symptoms of jaundice include itching, pale stools, dark urine, and a yellowish tint to the skin, all of which may be caused by colon cancer spreading to the liver. 2. Constant feeling of bowel urgency. Constantly feeling the urge to defecate is a very unpleasant sensation. The pressure and urgency that one feels all the time can start to get in the way of normal daily activities and eventually reduce one's quality of life. It is important to identify the source of the urgency, whether it occurs immediately after a bowel movement or never results in a bowel movement at all. A tumor pressing on the rectal tissues or a blockage could cause some feces to become stuck inside the body. Bowel urgency is always an emergency that requires prompt medical attention. 1. Unexplained anemia due to iron deficiency. An iron deficiency, which can cause anemia, is a more reliable early warning sign of right-sided colon cancer than any actual tumor growth or bowel obstruction. The difficulty in spotting right-sided colon cancer makes anemia a crucial warning sign. Iron deficiency anemia can develop from the gradual loss of blood that occurs when cancerous tumors develop in the right side of the colon. Thanks for watching and please check out some of our other health-related